Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Effortless Fashion. I'm your host, Corey. If you haven't been following me as yet, you can follow me on the Instagram link below. It's at effortless underscore fashion. That's fashion with two ends. And if you haven't as yet, please hit the subscribe button below. That's red button. And hit the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Today, we're going to discuss the basic must-haves for the stylish man. And why should you be a stylish man, you ask? Let's think about that for a second. That's right, women love a man that dresses well. And if for some strange reason you don't think that's reason enough, I'll do a future video on the further advantages of dressing well. So, the first thing you're going to need for your closet is a white Oxford shirt. You should have at least two pairs of these. This is your best friend, as its versatility is second to none. Our second must-have is the navy blue blazer. And this is also very versatile. And this should be the first blazer you get if you're just building your wardrobe. Next up, the jeans pants. You should have start with a dark wash or navy blue, same thing, and a pair of black jeans. These are very versatile as well. They can go with basically any outfit you can put together. I recommend starting with plain jeans. That's no rips, no tears, no fancy decorations on the back pockets or so forth. Just plain fitted jeans. You can also get ripped jeans or distressed jeans as they're called but those are specifically for casual events. The plain jeans I'm recommending you get first, they can be worn to any kind of event basically, except formal of course. So it can be semi-formal or casual. Next up we have the white tee. Now you can get these in v-neck or crewneck depending on your taste, but remember that, but remember you should have the v-neck as discussed in my first video, link here, where the v-neck is necessary because if you're not gonna wear it by itself, you should wear it as an undershirt under your Oxford. Keep in mind also you should get t-shirts that fit the body well. You don't want oversized t-shirts. They, they don't look good. They're not very attractive. Next up, the black leather jacket. Now this gives you the bad boy image. They tend to be a bit expensive ranging in the hundreds of US dollars. But trust me, as for value for wear, they're worth the money as they can literally last you a lifetime. But this channel is about affordable fashion, so don't worry, I got you. If you can't afford that, you can always go for the faux leather. A faux is just a fancy word for imitation or fake. So in this case, it would be fake leather. But trust me, they look just as good as the real thing. The only downside is they don't last nearly as long as the real thing. So they're cheaper. You can get these for like under $100 US. Um, you could check places like Zara. If you're in the United States, you can check places like Zara where you could get them at a pretty reasonable price. Ensure when you're buying this or any other thing, I recommend that you get something that actually fits your body. So in the case of the leather jacket, make sure you get one that fits and hugs the body. A snug fit, in other words. Don't get the baggy or the oversized one. That's not going to look very attractive. For persons living in the tropics like myself, I recommend if you're going to wear a leather jacket, to wear it at nights, at preferably outdoor events where it's cooler, because the jacket tends to get you a bit warm. Or if you're going to an indoor event where you know there's going to be air conditioning, sure you could wear it there as well. Next up is the flannel shirt. Now this can be worn to the office under a jacket with or without a tie. Or it can be worn to a casual event with a pair of jeans. Thus maintaining our keyword, versatility. Next up we have the denim jacket. Now the denim jacket is right up there with the leather jacket where it gives that bad boy image. 
These are very affordable, so you have no excuse at all not to get these. Now we move on to the accessory section, and first up we have, yeah, you guessed it, the wristwatch. Yeah, I know some of you guys don't like wearing a wristwatch, but trust me, if you want to improve the look of your overall outfit, you can't leave your wrist bare. Get a wristwatch. Preferably one with a leather band. You can also get a metal band as well, but if you're only going to get one watch, get one with a leather band. On the same topic of accessories, I suggest you get a chain and a bracelet as well. The bracelet can be either beads or you could get a metal one, whether it be gold or platinum. Even stainless steel, it doesn't really matter. As long as you get something that's nice and in good taste, go for it. Next up, we have the pocket square. Now this gives your blazer, jacket or vest a nice contrast and improves the general look of your outfit. They're pretty cheap so you can get them in various colors and patterns. Mix and match them up to see what looks best with your outfit. Next up we have the lapel pin or the boutonniere as it's called. Now this also takes your outfit to the next level. You put one onto your jacket or so, trust me, you're gonna see a huge difference in the look. Taking it from basic to GQ. They come in a variety of style, colors and designs, so make a small investment in them, trust me, it's worth it. To note though, lapel pins or boutonnieres are not made to be worn to the workplace. These are for strictly social events such as a wedding or a party, etc. So keep that in mind. Next up we have the leather belt. Now when buying belts, it's best to try to get belts that match your shoes as closely as possible. You're not going to always get them to match perfectly, but try to get them to match as closely as possible for that GQ look. Now, as for the belts, the best type of belts to get, in my opinion, are ones without the holes in them, and that would be slide belts. And I have one here. They're pretty easy to use, and they last a lot longer than the regular belts. You just put it in like this, snap it in, and stays like that. Check it. These are the grooves in it. And in our last and certainly not least category, we have the footwear. Now an outfit is not complete unless you have the right footwear on. It can totally ruin a look. So you might be looking good from head to, to ankles but from ankle down it would totally ruin the outfit if you don't have the right footwear on. So the first thing we have up are the chokka boots or as some person would call them the desert boots. Now this gives you a sophisticated stylish look and can be worn in both casual and street wear. Next up we have my favorites and that's the loafer. Now I love these because they are pretty stylish and very comfortable. Now I included the driving moccasins and the smoking slipper as well in this category. The differences I'll explain in a later video. But these are must haves. Get them now. Now, now, now. Get them. Next up is the Chelsea boot. Now these go pretty well with a pair of jeans. You wear these, trust me, you'll get noticed because of their unique and elegant design. So these are another must have for the gentleman who wishes to look stylish. Now a man isn't a stylish man unless he owns a pair of double monk strap shoes. These are sleek and effortlessly stylish, forgive the pun, but these are also a must have for the stylish man. So put that on the list. Now on the formal side, you need a pair of Oxfords, preferably the Capto Oxford if you're just starting out. And make sure it's in the color brown. Stop chasing after black shoes man, brown is the new black. So get that. Another must for the stylish man are white sneakers. Now my favorite white sneakers would be like the white Chuck Taylors or the white Stan Smith. Now these aren't only cool and stylish, they are also very affordable. Where you can get the Chucks for about 50 US and the, the Stan Smiths you can get them between 75 to 80 US dollars thereabout. Very affordable shoes and the must have. So there you have it, the must have basic essentials for the stylish man. Do you have anything to add? Do you think I left anything out? Let me know in the comments. Do you disagree with anything I said? Drop it in the comments as well. I look forward to hearing from you guys. So remember to follow me on Instagram, handle here again for those who didn't see before. And also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. So till next time, peace!